Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So, today we are going to be reviewing the new Patricia Bright collection with Makeup Revolution. This really came out nowhere. It was announced today. I came back from work. I don't even know what time it is, like 11 p.m. I've got work tomorrow, but you know, it's called Dedication. And I saw these and I'm like, I need to try it. I need to try it. I'm not gonna be a lazy ass person. I got out of my bed, instead of choosing to watch Netflix till whatever time, I'm going to film. So this is what we're going to do today. And also, I'm going to be giving away one of the palettes, the Rich in Colour palette, along with one of the face palettes. Uh, I don't know which one yet, but I'm going to show you how they all look like and then I'll see which one I'll, I'll give away. Because obviously I don't need all these, but it's helpful for videos to show you guys and everything. So, yes. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to cute girl Samia. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. I will definitely try to do more uh, Crayol videos. I might do a makeup tutorial in Crayol or something. I don't know. This thing on my lip is really bugging me and I have no idea what it is and it hurts. If you do want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. So the palette I'm gonna be using today is the Rich In Life palette. Palette is a bit, um, the palette is like, what's this material called? Is it metal? I don't know. It's like one of those protractor cases you get back in school. It's like that. It's kind of like that tin material, but anyways, mine has a dent in there, which is not a big deal, but I'm just showing you like, that's the kind of material, like it's quite, I wouldn't say flimsy, but it's like those protractor cases. It doesn't really bother me. To be honest, when you look at it, the palette looks really nice. You probably will get some dents in the front if you if you drop it or something. But oh my god, just looking at this palette, it's like so my type of palette. And I love like all the deep shades you have in here. Like you've got a nice amount of deep browns like a good amount and different tones, like burgundies. To be honest, I really do like the design. It's super simple, Patricia Bright on the front. I, I don't know, I really like it. And you know, as soon as you open it, it's just like, oh, so beautiful, look at that. Just so you guys can see, obviously this palette I'm giving away, I am opening it, but I just want you to see like what it looks like. This is the uh, Rich In Color and it looks stunning. Look at that. And they're super bright. Those are extremely, extremely bright. The camera's not doing it justice. Look, look, look. See? That's quite good. Make sure to check out the info box to uh, see the giveaway details. But let's now prime our eyelids first. I love that there's names for each shade. When it comes to tutorials and stuff, it's so much easier to like explain what shade I'm getting. So I'm gonna be taking Risk Taker first and I'm just gonna pack this. That, that, that is color. That is definitely giving me life right now. Look, just look. L oh. Is this makeup revolution right now? That is amazing pigment. I mean, off the bat, that looks good. And there's not much kickback when you put your brush in. But look. I really want to like make it go out like this. Because I feel like all my eyeshadow looks are so rounded. I'm, fa I'm now going to use Big Fan to blend that those edges. Next, I'm going to wet my brush and grab the shade Extra AF. This is just a swatch of it on my hand. I'm actually really surprised by these. It's like 
blending i actually met patricia bright at a makeup revolution event and she was like obviously like so many people were like wanting to take pictures and it was nice for her to just stop and like <laughs> let me have a picture with her i think i'm gonna go in with a bit of irreplaceable and just buff this in the inner corner i know makeup revolution eyeshadow palette with browns come this dark up on me like very very impressed i'm kind of mixing the colors together i do have a little bit of fallout there which is not a big deal i mean considering considering how dark the shades are i'm not too fussed about that here are some of the other shades this is never say never which is like the bright yellow in a palette with yellows it's really hard but I feel like this would go much better on the eye than on my hand. Uh, next we have Booked and Busy. I mean no comment that's amazing. And then we have Superwoman which again is very pigmented. I don't think the yellow is that bad like it's good it would be good like as a transition shade. I'm not sure if I could put this on a lid, but it's like that pretty mustard shade. Then we have the pretty gold shades in the palette. This is shining, 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 shining. Oh, did I just butcher that? But this shade is one of my favorites in the palette. Like this is me on a daily. Um, and then you have Darlings. And you are gold i love how she's put like phrases she usually says i mean i love all three of these obviously i have to sh i have to swatch some of the darker shades so this is date night which i'm actually not mad at it's very pigmented oh look at that whoa that stay hydrated it bloody looks hydrated made my skin look dewy then we got Stay Girl, with, which is the black. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> what? Guys, that is not a bad black. That is not a bad black. Ooh, I'm really happy with this palette. You know what? I'm going to take some of the black. I'm going to take some of the black and we're going to line our lash line. I've always said like the browns, look at any of my Makeup Revolution review videos. I've always said the browns don't do as well on me and the, the irreplaceable shade was amazing. Like it was so pigmented. Like I actually can't wait to use this palette more. And not to forget like the blending was just so easy. I've just powdered my face. So I'm looking a little pale, but we're gonna move on to the face palettes. These look super cute. Again, similar to the eyeshadow packaging. So this is the Moonlight Glow palette. Then we have the Summer Sunrise palette. This is You Are Gold, which I think will be great for me. And then last but not least, we have Dusk Till Dawn. And I just feel, I just feel like she's catered to like each skin tone group. I feel like these are more universal. So like you don't need like a palette for each skin tone, but like you have one for each kind of range of skin tones especially the deep one i feel like a lot of deeper skin tones could wear that the bronzer is so dark so so dark i know some people with deeper skin tones use eyeshadows as a contour um but this is like dark okay so obviously i think i'm gonna go in with the you are gold the shades in the here look so nice So we have the blush shade, bronzer shade, and our highlight. I'm pretty happy with those. Oh my god, I'm just so excited to try this right now. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try the bronzer first. This face needs some colour and sculpt. It 
it's so pigmented like i have to be really careful with this but that's not a bad thing like i'm not mad at that the shade is really nice for my skin tone i'm gonna put some on the side of my nose Blend, blend, blend. Right, we're going to put a bit of blush on now. Like, the pigment is intense. And then finally, the highlight shade. I'm actually going to wet my brush. Because I want it. Okay. No ashiness from the front, but you look to the sand and the glow is just there. Yeah, I definitely feel like this palette is definitely good for my skin tone. I kind of like to put highlight on my forehead because I have such a small forehead. I like just do that because it makes it bigger. Well, it gives the illusion that it's bigger. Onto the eyes. I'm going to give my final thoughts at the end of the video, but back onto the eyes. I think we're going to go for... Nah, I'm just going to stick with the green because it goes with the look. You know, I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to take some of that shimmery green shade, put that in the inner corner. I have no words. I have no words. I'm obsessed with the palette. Do you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been feeling in, like, such a rut with makeup. Not even, like, I love doing it, but, like, as in, you know, like, the old eyeshadow looks that I used to do before bold cut creases or just bold colored looks and this has just like brought me back to this and i've had so much fun like this look i love how my eye just looks all right guys this is the final look and i am just living for it okay like the pigmentation and the color choice especially for my skin tone and for deeper skin tones and even for like medium skin tones I just love the color choice and the amount of browns you have it's just like your your everyday palette but if you want to add a bit of something for an event or an occasion you've got it there in a palette blue teal kind of shade is amazing i don't like the mattes are so easy to blend they're pigmented the black is insane with the face palettes like i said i love that she's catered to like every kind of like skin tone range and going from like fair to deep. The palette that I used, which is You Are Gold, is just perfect for me. The bronzer could, I do have to be a bit more light handed on the bronzer. It has a bit of red in it, I feel like, but the blush is beautiful, the highlight's beautiful. It just, it's for my skin tone. But yeah, it's very, very pigmented, but also like it's not patchy, not chalky. It just, blends really easily into the skin and even though i put a lot i was able to like blend it and soften it a little bit the blush is beautiful and the highlight is just gold you know it's just so pretty i love how compact it is it's in one palette uh, this is like perfect it's perfect if you want all three in one go bring it somewhere with you Ew. so the palette's 20 pounds bargain and then the face palettes are eight pounds eight pounds i i'm gonna rate both 10 out of 10 you can see like the eyes look at my eyes is i can't believe i just created this look with a makeup revolution palette and like look at my cheeks the bronzer it's just perfect it just i love it i'm happy to be giving one of you guys one of the eyeshadow palettes and this palette right here which is the summer sunrise uh, face palette Again, check the info box for all the giveaway rules and good luck to all of you. Oh, I'm dropping everything here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this look. I'm so happy I got up and filmed. Like, I'm so happy I created this look. Now I have to go to sleep and wake up at like 6am to go to work. Yeah. You know it's the one of those looks where you're like, eh, is that you? No. I don't believe it. No. Oi, since I've been watching Peaky Blinders, I got I got this accent coming through. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's like it's proper, proper British. I don't know where where it is either. It's a Birmingham accent or Cockney accent. I I don't know. I really can't differentiate between accents, especially when they're within the UK. I just can't. 
Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram because that's where you can find me when I'm not on YouTube. And that's it. Love you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.